When you go to mindmup.com, the first thing you're greeted with is this little dialog box where you have four choices. You know, it's pretty nice, very simple, easy to get started. So when you create create a, a new map, you get three saving options. You can do it public online. You can save it to your your SkyDrive account. I'm oh, sorry, your Google Drive account, or you can save it to Google Chrome. Or if you're using Safari or Firefox, etc. Internet Explorer. So I'm just going to uh, save it there in uh, MindMup. Um, and I mean, this is this is your workspace right here. It's pretty simple. You got your tools over here on the right hand side, and you can even hit the hotkeys there, and it'll show you. Lots of tips and features there on blog.mindmup.com, which is great. It's always right there for you. So whenever they add features and everything, it's you can always get an update right there. <clears throat> so I'm going to get started here. So if I hit the space bar, when you have a node selected, it'll let you change the whatever the text is on there. So I'm going to do one about M NBA teams I like. And if you hit tab, it'll add a node. I mean, there are other ways to do it, but that's the quickest I find. And Control Z or Command Z will undo, just like in a Word document. Um, and I'm just going to speed up here to show you how quick and easy it is. And as you notice, the layout automatically changes. I'm not doing that. MindMup is doing that for me, which is a good thing that it, it helps keep things very organized. If things don't overlap, um, it grows as you need it, which is great. Um, it just, you know. It'd be nice if you could, you know, move things wherever you want. Uh, you can easily format color nodes. You can select all the nodes at once and change the color. Check this out. That's awesome. That's very quick, very easy. Again, I'm just hitting Command uh, Z and Control Z there. And as you can see, it won't let me change the layout too much. Um, you can. You have lots of exporting features. You can export as a mind map file. You, well, you saw them. You can always go back and slow that down. So if I want to share, I can embed this map into a website. Uh, I can do it by email, on Twitter, on Facebook. I got lots of choices there, which is great. That's very, very, very handy. Now, if I click here, if I click on a note and I click that little link there, I can attach additional information, uh, notes, files, hyperlinks, all sorts of things. Now, if you click on extensions, you get four choices here. Um, you can store your maps on GitHub. You can change things to straight lines. Uh, so instead of curved lines, they'll just be straight lines. It helps make it look a little cleaner. If you're a real-time collaboration, so you can have multiple people working on the, on the same mind map as, as, uh, as you are, and it works pretty well. You have to give it a name, and then it's going to require you to do it through Google Drive. So if you don't have a Google account, you're going to have to get one. Uh, progress. So, for example, if you're working on a project, you can say if things are, you know, it's in progress, or if it's completed, or if it's not finished, or if it is finished, that kind of thing, which is kind of nice. It's kind of nice to do. Uh, you have to save it uh, up there in the top right-hand corner. Uh, you can hide nodes, you can delete them, lots of good things. So that's it. Um, enjoy using MindMup and check us out at thetechjonesy.com.